In this weekly video, we're gonna... The lessons that will be covered during this week. On Sunday, we will learn to spell CK words. On Monday, we will be learning about the CK words and plural X. On Tuesday, we will continue learning and reading the story, all kinds of homes. On Wednesday, we will learn about the declarative sentences and we will continue learning about capitalization and capitalizing I. In spelling, we will learn to spell CK words. And the digraph CK represent a K sound. The spelling words for this week are sack, tack, luck, sick, back and black. Let's learn to use the words into sentences. I feel sick. I wish you the best of luck. Do you have to go back right away? I want a sack of potatoes. I have a black cat. In phonics, we will learn about the CK words or the consonant digraph CK and they both make a K sound. So CK represent a K sound. Let's read the words here. We have sack, brick, dick, duck, neck and back. If you notice, the CK make a K sound. We will learn about the S sound and Z sound that are both spelled S. The letter S can spell the S sound at the end as in caps or the Z sound at the end of bits. Adding S to a noun changes its meaning and it shows there is more than one thing or more than one item. Let's read the words here. We have pets and his. We learned earlier that we put S at the end of the noun to show that there is more than one thing or one person. Let's see the examples here. We have girl and we see here two girls. The S here at the end of a noun it shows that we have more than one girl. Shoe, shoes. The S at the end shows that there is more than one thing. Block and blocks. The S at the end of the noun shows that we have more than one block. This week, we'll be reading a story titled All Kinds of Homes. It's an informational story that tells information about real homes. So All Kinds of Home introduces students to a wide range of homes, including some extraordinary unique houses. So the target strategy is to classify information and to summarize the text. What two houses belong in a group of homes that can move? The answer is option C, motor home and a houseboat. How is a houseboat different from a house? The answer is a. It is found on a water. Why does a cabin have birds for neighbors? The answer is B. Birds live in the trees near the cabin. Which of the following belongs in a group of homes where many neighbors live? The answer is A. It's an apartment. If a home is unique, it does not look like another home. A declarative sentence makes a statement. 
It ends with a period and it starts with a capital letter. Let's read the examples here. The boy is happy. This is my camera. I put my money in a piggy bank. The eagle is flying. The people are running. You are telling sentences here. Again, a declarative sentence is a type of a sentence that makes a statement or provides information. It is the most common type of a sentence in the English language. And they are straightforward because they tend to declare or state or tell something. We have more examples of declarative sentences. The sun rises in the east. This is a B. This is an information. I have two cats and a dog. Paris is a capital of France. We'll be learning about capitalizing the pronoun I. So the pronoun I should always be capitalized, whether it comes at the beginning of the sentence or in the middle. Let's read the examples here. I go to school. The letter I or the pronoun I comes at the beginning, so we need to make sure that it is capitalized. The second sentence, my friend and I will play. The pronoun I here comes in the middle, so we need to make sure that it is capitalized.